I'm sorry, what's that now? You want to be certified? You want to pass an exam? That's nice. I'm just saying, there's a nice little command here which might serve you well in your daily inventor go-abouts, which is knowing how to get the minimum distance between two components. Like, for example, we've got a little bracket thing going on down here, and then we've got another one on the other side of the car. And I need to know the minimum distance between the two closest points on these two objects here. It's not as easy as you think. You're hunting around for a button called minimum distance. It ain't there. It's not how you do it. So what you got to do, especially, this is, this is another extra tip on top of that, especially if if the parts are in a sub-assembly. Yeah, so you hover your cursor over this bracket and you can see it's highlighting the entire body. It's because that is a sub-assembly. What you can do is hold down shift and then right click and then go to part priority. And that allows your cursor to dive into a sub-assembly and start picking individual parts from within that sub-assembly. So you can prick, you prick? <laughs> you can pick that one and hold down control and then pick that one there this part is optional, but it just makes visualizing it a little bit easier. You can right click and then isolate those two parts. Just click OK. If the, if turning them off conflicts with the design view, you get this message. Click OK. And then that will isolate those two components, which just makes things a little bit easier. And then you won't believe how easy this is. This is. All you've got to do is pick that part and then that part again. Hold down Control, select them both. Go to Inspect and then just pick Distance. And that's it. That's all you got to do. Then Inventor gives you the minimum distance between the two closest points on those objects. And if you're thinking, nah, nah, but then no, if you look, you can see it is actually taking a distance from the closest tangent to that object there. And then the same on that side. Whoa, my 3D mouse is going all over the place. There you go. That's the minimum distance between two components. Then to undo the isolate, just right click, uh, OK to cancel the measurement, right click, undo isolate, and then you're yeah, back to the full assembly when it eventually kicks in. There we go. Uh, minimum distance between two parts.